Hey guys, I'm Dorian Day and welcome to Massive In Depth number 8. Today we're going to be talking about the performer and stepper modulators in Massive. If you skipped the last video, you might consider going and watching it because a lot of the functionality is the same, so I'm not going to be going uh, over it again. So like the LFO, the performer has preset controls and a mono button, which makes all the voices share this performer. We have randomize functionality, which randomizes the curves and their amplitude, and even a menu with a bunch of different randomized controls. Um, you can click in to change the amplitude of any of the curves, and you can click load curve to load curves. So click a shape, draw in, click and hold, and you can drag. If you want to do um, the same shape in multiple spots, you have to hold shift. Otherwise, if you just do it once and then click somewhere else, it just changes the amplitude. Um, you can change where it starts with this little arrow, uh, yellow arrow right here. So if I put the performer on the amplitude, You can see it starts where the yellow arrow is. And I can change the loop points by grabbing the ends and dragging in. So once you have your um, curve set, you can start messing around with the ampl mod and X fade sequence right here. So basically how this works is each one of these faders connects to uh, this these toggle rows down here. The bottom row belongs to the amp mod and the top row belongs to the X fade sequence. Um, and each toggle belongs to one of these frames. So let's talk about amp mod first. So I'm going to draw a really easy to understand shape. It's basically on or off. It's either full amplitude or no amplitude. Hopefully that actually works out for me. All right, so if I have, if I just play right here, you hear a sound. Um, and if I uh, move amp mod up and down, nothing happens. But if I select and toggle and then drag, the volume goes down. So this allows you to selectively change the volume of each or of um, whichever frames you wish and control that amount using this amp mod. All right, next we have X fade sequence. So if you don't select anything, nothing happens. But as soon as you select some. So um, pretty much we're X fading down to nothing. I draw in some things you can hear um, if I unselect it defaults to the top shape so these kind of uh, um, like toggling and being able to switch between amplitude and crossfading is sort of similar to the accent feature that you would have found in like the TB 303 by Roland or similar instruments so that pretty much does it for the performer. Next we have the stepper. Uh, the stepper is basically a step sequencer modulation unit. It has all of the same functions as the performer except for a few things. Uh, you can see the preset controls right here, randomize, slightly different menu controls, mono, and then snap to grid. And what snap to grid does is it um, snaps the height of these to integers. If you turn it off, it can go anywhere. You have the rates and sinks, just the same, um, and the amp mod is just the same. The only big, the biggest difference is the glide mode. So let's attach this to pitch instead. Let's slow it down. 
So now if I toggle the glide, it controls how much it slides and for which notes. All right, this completes the modulation section of Massive and finishes up Massive in depth number eight. Thanks for watching.